Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. And so today is going to be a fairly quick one because you know, I screwed up. So I got the Kyosho Pegasus all rebuilt, and I have no idea what happened to the footage that I recorded of the before. So I'll put up some pictures here and just kind of show you guys roughly, you know, it was a dirty, nasty mess. Um, it had been run and never cleaned up and put away and left on the shelf. Um, thankfully, Kevin didn't throw it away. And the reason I call it Kevin is because the old body has the name on the back of it, Kevin. So it's done. It's not 100%. It was never meant to be 100%. All I wanted to do was get it cleaned up, get it running again, and, you know, kind of bring it back to life. Um, the body, which I'll bring that over. So this was Kevin's body, and it has his name right here, Kevin. Um, and the rest of the buggy is very indicative of this body. The body's beat, it's tired, it's been used, but it's not torn up, it's not destroyed. Um, it just, it has some issues. It's got some wear. It's got a story. And why Kevin decided to put the wing on backwards, don't know. But I'm leaving it like that. So I'm going to keep hold of, you know, Kevin's body here just because. But this is the refurbished Kyosho Pegasus. So as you can see, it is now white again versus this kind of beigey cream color that Kevin's turned into. It, I think it was white at one point, but it was a brush painted on um, white that has just yellowed badly over time. So pretty much the entire buggy is original, um, minus the body, wing, driver's figure, all that. Um, but the wheels and tires, the chassis, everything, you know, mechanically is pretty much original. The only piece I had to replace was one of the body posts was missing, so I had to replace that. Um, I did replace some, you know, screws here and there with newer, better ones because they'd either gotten ground down or were really rusty and nasty. Um, but all the original suspension arms, and they're working much better now. Um, they had been sitting on the shelf so long, they were just kind of rigid and sitting there. So when I was washing everything, basically I just ran the hot, you know, tap water over it and started flexing them back and forth. Now, I just didn't, you know, crank on it, but you want to start flexing that living hinge back and forth because all it is is a, a thin piece of the plastic. Um, so, with some heat and some rubbing it uh, or bending it back and forth, you know, it finally softened up and the front and the rear um, suspension pin or pivots work really well now. So, I'll pop the body off real quick. So, body to body, much better. And this one actually has the driver figure in there. So this is a Team Blue Groove body with MCI decals on it. And when you buy the whole body set, it comes with the driver figure. So it has a little Kyosho driver figure in there mounted to the top. Now, unfortunately, I could not get all the original radio gear to work. Um, it just it was not playing well. Um, I was using a good radio, a good uh, receiver. I tested it on another car. All of it was working. When I put it in here and tried to get it with those servos and the mechanical speed control, it just did not play nice. So it was a very old set of Sanwa servos in here. And I don't know whether they just didn't play nice with the Futaba radio system, you know, whether it wasn't enough power or something. I don't know. But it just wasn't working. And... You know, I decided I was going to run this one because, you know, the bottom's scratched up. You know, it has scuffs and scraps and stuff. So this one I am going to run. That way I can leave the um, Cox Bandito in kind of pristine shape. And, you know, it's the same. All of this is the same. It's just the bodies basically are different. Now, the one thing I wanted to replace that I didn't was the wheels um, and the rear wheel adapters. Uh, one of the... Um, basically the wheel adapter is on there and there's like five little pins that stick off of it and the wheel keys onto those pins. Uh, one of the pins was broken off and, you know, they just show a lot of wear and age and stuff on them. I didn't take them apart because I know on the other ones that I took apart when I replaced the wheels for the um, Bandito, when I put the chrome wheels on those, the 
wheels just started breaking apart when I was taking the, the whole white ones apart. So I just figured, leave it alone and just go with it. Um, so we're still, the, the tires are nice and soft. I did silicone up these, so they're a little bit softer now. But overall, they're in good shape. They're, you know, worn down pretty bad. They don't have much nub left, but they'll do for a run or two. Um, these are the original stickers that were on the chassis. Um, I was able to leave those on there, so a little bit of history there. All these decals are brand new from MCI, and, you know, Kevin's was decaled up fairly similarly. You know, he did box art on his, so I just continued to do the box art on mine. Um, otherwise, we just went with a 1060 ESC and modern, you know, my standard Spectrum receivers and just a, you know, four for $20 Metal Gear servo in here. Um, the shocks, when you get these, if you ever buy one, more than likely the shocks are just going to be locked up. Um, I think they originally told you to build them with a little bit of grease inside, and that grease just binds up in there with dirt and everything. So um, what I ended up doing was putting a bunch of dry lube in there, and it's liquid when it goes in. It dries to a dry film, but it does a really good job of kind of getting in there and seeping around everything and loosening everything up. You could use WD-40 or whatever, but, you know, I got the dry lube on my bench. Anyway, got those broke free, ended up taking them all apart, cleaning them really well, um, I put in some seven, just a drop or two of 7,000 weight diff oil. Um, that way it's not going to just ooze out the bottom super quick. And it's kind of in there coating that shaft to, you know, give it some, a little bit of dampening and is letting it move freely. Now, whether once it gets dirty and does it start binding up again, I don't know. But for right now, everything is moving really nicely. Um, so I'm not going to take it out for a run today. Unfortunately, I just don't have time. And to be honest with you guys, I'm exhausted. Um, I'm working on a project in the house that I've been working on in the evenings after work and then all day today. So I'm just out here Saturday evening recording this for you guys. So you guys can take a look at the Pegasus now and I will, <clears throat> geez, <clears throat> stirred up a lot of dust today. I will get this out. I will get it run. I'm, I still have the Cougar to take out and run. Um, I've got the Baja Champ. I've got to go through, get that out for a run. Um, I think there's even one more up here that I actually need to get out and drive and get some run footage on. But that's another day. For right now, it's just about the Pegasus, and I think it turned out really cool. Um, I would love to get the chrome wheels for it, but... At this point, I'm just not going to touch the wheels, um, and the chrome wheels are just ridiculously priced now. I think I got the set for the Bandito. I think I paid $55 plus shipping for those, and right now the cheapest I can find them for is about $100 plus shipping. So it's not worth it. Um, you know, these are, are not broken. They're still running, and like I said, I'm only missing... Oh, actually, I did replace... Never mind. They're... I forgot. I did find a set, set of the wheel adapters and I put those on here. So forget what I said before about the wheel adapters. I did have extra wheel adapters because when I bought the chrome wheels for the Cox Bandito, they had chrome um, wheel adapters in there. So I have the I had the white wheel adapters from the original Cox Bandito kit that I put on here. So other than tires and a new set of wheels, you know, I'm completely stoked about this guy. It looks great. You know, it is a world difference between when it was Kevin's, <laughs> and I'm sure Kevin had a blast with his. Now, um, I don't know. Really, that's all I got, guys. Um, I'm just kind of rambling here because I'm tired. So I'm going to end it off here with a montage of pictures I took of this the other day when I actually got it finished. And, you know, we'll get some run footage with it later. But as always, everybody out there, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See you.